right? Good day, everyone. My name is Mogilev Kize. And my name is Yonela Hatebe. And my name is Ayana We are from St. B School in Gauteng, and we are about to present our Water Harvesting Gardens. Agriculture is one of the most important factors, sectors in the economy of the Republic of South Africa. Our population growth is growing rapidly and the demand of food and water is increasing by the day. We need to find effective methods to harvest and conserve water. Current methods such as large dams and visible water tanks are accompanied by a number of disadvantages. Storage dams are victims to evaporation. Yes, they are large and they can store large amounts of water at the same time, but due to hot conditions, the water ends up being evaporated, reducing the amount of water that is stored. Visible tanks are visually polluting the environment. As much as they are effective in harvesting rainwater and storing it, um, they take up the space that they are situated in, which can be used for agricultural services such as food production since the population is growing and the demand for food is increasing. Now, our, our water harvesting gardens are a solution all in one. First, they are cost effective. The material used is PVC plastic which is easily accessible and removable. And the process of transportation is reduced. As a solution to the storage dams, our reservoirs are our, our reservoirs are installed underground, which means that there is still land that is used for farming, and the evaporation is reduced. Over to your name. The project is made for small to medium scale farms in Gauteng and Limbo. The device is meant to harvest rainwater using funnels and cones. The funnels are made of transparent, transparent plastic sheets to funnel water into the PVC pipe that leads to the jetting that is buried underground. The, fun, the funnels are made of a collapsing mechanism which collapses, which collapses them when not in use so that agricultural processes can take place. The plastic reservoir or jojo tank is buried at least one at least 1.5 meters underground so that the so that the reservoir cannot be damaged and the the reservoir or jojo tank is buried at least 1.5 meters underground so that so that the reservoir cannot be damaged so that the reservoir cannot be damaged during cultural activities. Several cones are used per several PVC pipe to increase the amount of water harvested. Each cone is joined to is joined per several PVC pipe so that only one PVC pipe um, transports water to the to the reservoir. A single obstruction of PVC plastic is fitted. The fact that the reservoir is buried 1.5 meters below the ground ensures relatively constant and cool temperatures during uh, which reduce loss during water loss due to evaporation. Water loss is further is further reduced because the project the project only has two openings which are closed most of the time. And then um, the funnels are made of transparent plastic in case a person forgets to um, to to collapse the funnels uh, and the sunlight can still pass through and photosynthesis can take place. Over to Ivan.
The water that is harvested is mainly meant for, the, for irrigation and air pollution. But away from areas of air pollution, it can also be used as potable water, providing that the corals are not contaminated. This differs from the usual Georgia tank. This differs from the usual Georgia tanks in the sense that they catch increased catchment and less space used. The PVC pipes in the underground reservoir contaminate it. The water that is harvested is mainly made for irrigation and pollution. But away from areas of air pollution, it can be also be used for potable water, provided the corals are not contaminated. This differs from usual toilet tank in the sense that it saves space and increased catchment. The PVC pipes in underground reservoirs eliminate most of sources that most of sources of contamination from pesticides and fertilizers. The mechanism of forming the cores closes the inlet of PVC pipes and inner side contamination of the cores. If the reservoir is situated, is used on a sloping uh, farmland, it can be situated up here so that abstraction can take place by siphoning. If the farmland is flat, solar energy would be essential for abstraction. The PVC pipes, plastic tank, transparent plastic tanks, metal rods and wires would be used. To represent our plastic reservoirs, we have this five little bottle here and then these two are representing the funnels that will have the water going through the PVC pipes through to the reservoir. And then this box here represents the ground level at which the food production will take place. And we believe that this project here is worth the wait. Thank you.